Lords and ladies, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. And we are back today with a vengeance because this game has been kicking our butts. And I did a run, I did a run which did not work out, basically. I did a lot of practice, I did a lot of learning, trying to master the basics, familiarizing myself with the UI, and it was all going really well. I did like eight little practice runs just learning that stuff, and it all went pretty nicely. I pressed the record button, we went live, we tried to do a run, and I had the unluckiest run I could possibly believe. We spent four hours and made negative progress, I think. <laughs> Everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. Every roll was a one. Every step was a misstep and a trip. And today, and today, we are gonna be trying once more going into Thaton. Because I am, I'm enamored. I'm enamored. And we're gonna start a whole new game. And I know this sometimes rolls us some weird stats at the start, but you know, in I tried to pick a nice start with some good counselors and advisors and stuff and it just didn't work it didn't work it was literally the worst so whatever we've got today whatever stats or traits we've got um we're just gonna go with thaton i'm i i want to make this work uh house thaton until our strength engulfs the world one of the smallest regions in the pagan kingdom right this is the Pagan Kingdom. They're clearly the strongest, but this one of the weakest, smallest ones here. And I want to make this work. I want them to engulf the world. Uh, and we've learned some basics that I will be sharing with you as we go along today. So hopefully you can learn something as well. So we are today fickle, which is eh, arrogant. Okay, plus one prestige a month. Prestige is useful. Uh, and hard to generate at the start, and uh, trusting, so diplomacy plus two, okay, okay, good. Game rules, we are going to be Iron Man mode, and we are going to just ensure there's no nudity there. Let's play. Yeah, Thaton. Yeah, just do that. Yeah, Thaton, play. We're in the game, we're in the game. All right, so a few things that I've learned that we can get started with right at the start. Firstly, uh, we do have to choose our lifestyle. Now, it's uh, we're in aligned with intrigue, but generally I'm not too much into intrigue. I was kind of looking at diplomacy. There's some nice stuff here, you know, to boost your prestige and things like that. But I just like the straightforwardness of a domain-focused stewardship lifestyle, going down the architect path, building up stuff at the start of your run is just going to be beneficial for your entire run. It's going to be beneficial for your entire run because you build a farm that generates like another 0.5 uh, income per month. That's going to... The earlier you do that, the more money you're going to uh, have, right? So we're going to do that. But besides that, we also have a sun. And a lot of people don't know this, but I've seen this. You can click on this button here, and it's an education focus, and you can pick what your heir or your children are going to be focusing on their education. And I think I do want to... Ooh. Charming children might struggle with stewardship education. Oh, okay. Charming children often do well with diplomacy. So I guess our heir, Zaya, is going to be a diplomat. So we're going to try be an architect dad with a diplomat son. Great. Stick on diplomacy. Great. Now let's have a look at our council. At least no one hates us. We've got a pretty good marshal. See this guy here? Our steward is not that great. Let's have a quick look. Any immediate replacements? We can recruit this guy, but it's just nine, which doesn't really help much. We could get like two more points on our spy master, but nothing really great. Uh, who's, who's this guy? What's he doing right now? Law. Law is our spy master. He would make a much better um, chancellor. Swap those two. We've got a terrible spy master, but I guess that's fine. Um, we have right spy masters can be women. Uh, so Mayor Ponterica, he's a powerful vassal. Is what is he good at? What's he... 
his best thing is diplomacy, huh? You know, we can just keep him happy. Why are we losing minus 0.1 piety a month? Too few spouses. Right. So we have to get married. Now, we already have an heir. And I know it's a little risky, but having too many sons can wreck you. It can wreck you. So, so bad. Splitting the empire on uh, succession. Uh, and uh, we already have an heir. And we can just be extra protective of him. And hope, it's a little bit of a gamble to not have a spare. And hope that... Um, it doesn't become a problem because you can just kill them. Yeah, but well, we might have a terrible spy master. We might die suddenly and the empire fractures. So let's look for uh, um, what, what I want is a wife which has really high stewardship to help me with my kingdom because that can help us earn money, can get us a lot of bonuses like this. 21 stewardship and robust. That's a good one. She's 20 though. And that means we're going to have lots of children, which is not so good. So here, there's a 19 stewardship, and she's 39. And she's stubborn, ambitious, and temperate. So this here, right now, is He-Man. <laughs> Haman, Haman, I think it is pronounced. Um, He-Man here is going to be 19 in steward, which is really good. Really good. Uh, to help me with my kingdom, but old enough so we don't have any more children. If we have a child, maybe just one. Maybe just one, right? So, Herman here will accept. Great. I get no prestige. That's fine. Send proposal. This will also sort out our piety problem. And now... Uh, also, right, right. Uh, I want to be a bit more aggressive on this run because last time I sort of waited around building up and we did get pretty strong, but then when it came to invading other nations, it was just a little too difficult. So I'm thinking perhaps I can arrange a marriage here with uh, a betrothal at least um, that will get me an alliance with my immediate neighbor who is sharing a border with me, but not someone who I want to uh, conquer right now. I just need a little bit more firepower on my side. And it seems like the only choice here is Yamin. This will get us an alliance. So we'll send this proposal to, to secure a neighbor alliance immediately. And he's not who we're going for. Because even though the fabricate claim suggestion suggests us to fabricate a claim on Tungu, I want to get the duchy first, right? So I want to conquer a according to duchy because it helps with succession. You know, Zaya is going to uh, inherit the Thaton duchy. So even if there are brothers, it will split the kingdom in terms of the brother will become a vassal rather than their own thing sort of thing. So you want to conquer based on duchies and then you want to conquer based on kingdoms and then you want to conquer based on empires, right? So it, it helps with the management and succession and all of that with all of the titles. So now we've got everything kind of set up. Let's unpause the game. Oh, also, in case you didn't know, if you right click, you can open the barbershop. You can open the barbershop. Did you know you could choose? Let's wear common Westerner clothing. Oh no, let's, let's wear prison rags. We are the humble. No. What are we? Trusting, arrogant, fickle? We're arrogant? Okay. So default here. Headwear? Is there anything greater? The fleur de lis crown? <laughs> it doesn't work, does it? The Byzantine circlet? Mm. The jeweled turban? What's... The cone-shaped hat? The Indian helmet? The opulent crown? You can choose what you like. You can choose hair color as well. Look at that. But I think I think it's fine. I think... I think Duke Ganda is looking pretty fly, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, okay, we have an alliance. Excellent. Now, I want to look immediately. This guy. So he currently doesn't have any allies. So I'm going to just start out with Purohitya, who has 11 learning. That's not bad. It's We've seen worse. To immediately fabricate a claim on the county, the barony of, uh, no, the, the county of Pugu. Baronies are the smaller ones. And then we get married. Great. Why is our piety now minus three? Too few spouses. 
Wait, how many spouses are we supposed to have? Oh, I didn't realize. I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, that's one thing I... Was it always like that? I actually didn't notice that. It's because my learning is two, so my piety has never been um, an issue. But learning being two... Okay. You are going to assist on managed domain, so we get plus nine stewardship. Our current steward is garbage. So I think uh, we do have to call some people to court. Uh, so let's invite champions, send the herald, get some useful people down here. Yeah, it depends on your religion. I just, I just never noticed. So sh how many... Are there other benefits to just marrying more? So, okay, to get our piety not in the negative. Why is it getting worse? Okay. Um, are there any other old people we can <laughs> we can um, uh, marry? Thirty-one. Okay. Can we sort by age? Yeah, age. And let's scroll to the bottom. Thirty-one. Ah, that's that's still a little young. I don't want like if I have. I assume if I have children with secondary spouses, um, they will still be uh, inheritable. I gotta wait for some older choices, I think. We'll just lose the piety. It's fine. Level of devotion. Can you go down a le level of devotion? If you're in the negative? Amala? Eh, you're okay. Twelve? Oh, that's, that's not bad. Who's this guy? Eh. Wheezing? Where's coughing? Misguided warrior, open terrain expert. This guy is not bad, but who's my current um, marshal? This guy? Five. But your marshal's 15, but his uh, prowess skill is terrible. How much does it cost to get you? 10? All right. You can become a champion. Join us. Champion has arrived. Okay, good. We're fabricating a claim. Pugu might get an alliance. Yep. Oh, he allied with our ally. So he's who I want to get first. Well, basically, I want to get these three counties. Pegu, Dagon, and Kusumi. Those are my primary targets. Uh, this guy here. He currently doesn't have any allies. Ooh, he's got 19 learning. He's a smart guy. Smart guy. Oh, pilgrimage is really good. And I can lose a... Lose a thing. What's... Oh, that's gonna be pretty bad. Um, yeah, there are pilgrimages we can go on. The longer journeys are more expensive. Uh, the further you travel, the more piety you'll gain. Yeah, but that doesn't solve the problem, does it? Oh, I can designate the Guardian. Okay, yes. Uh, who do I want? I think I will designate... So he's being diplomatic. But let's see. Thrifty clerk, temperate, ambitious, stubborn, or trusting, arrogant, fickle, flamboyant trickster. You know, I think uh, I think the Duchess Herman is going to be a better choice here for our heir. Who's some stewardship. Still okay on diplomacy. You are... Eh, what's this? Skilled tactician. Alright, this guy could be strong. Kian. 14. Yes. How much? 20? Alright. Good. Kian's the top here. Alright. So we got some decent champions. Now, one of the biggest lessons I learned is strike while the iron's hot. If you don't see a good opening, it's probably not worth jumping towards it, right? Probably not worth rushing towards an objective because things are just going to go wrong. There's so much, I'm going to say, functionally random things. Things aren't random, right? Even a randomized number on the internet is not a random thing. 
like in truth, but functionally random meaning there's so many factors to consider that you're just not gonna really be able to consider all of them. Rally point's gonna be up here in Sitaung, preparing to jump to Pegu. Now, Kandras is his ally, which will come to his assistance. So perhaps if this guy remains allyless, we can go for Kusumi first. Uh, that's not neighboring our current lands, but any expansion is good. Any expansion is good. Now, any other old people we can marry? <laughs> Age. Let's look down. Um, oh wait, no, I have to click on me first. The oldest is 32, right? Your courtier. 17 stewardship, look at that. That's, that's really good. Um, can you have secondary spouses be put into here? Probably not, right? This is the Duchess, right? This, this should help, though. A wife with high skills in something, focusing on that thing, can, can help a lot. She'll just be like, Hey, I found 50 bucks. Hey, I, I got this guy to to be your victim, something. Like, she helps out a lot. She helps out a lot. But we have to be very careful. Champion has arrived. Tan Bon. Not particular. Oh, actually, he's... Athletic, aggressive attacker, skilled tactician. 18 prowess. Are you insanely expensive? 40. Jeez. That's really... He's really good. He's sadistic as well. And deceitful. Sadistic, deceitful, greedy... Stick oh, this guy is scary on the battlefield. 18 prowess. But he's so expensive. 40. I think I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Because I want to prepare to conquer a land. Because building stuff is great. You know, we can get our income up to like 6... How is she pregnant? You're 40. Oh, I suppose that's still... Okay. We gotta be careful about that. We gotta be careful. Hopefully it's a daughter. Otherwise, if we get one son, we could disinherit him. You know. This should at least limit. We're not seducing her. You know, we could have a spare that we could try get killed. Or maybe the, the spare will be better than Zaya and we'll try get Zaya killed. Um, we tried that last time. We were a bit too late. We died first and everything went to heck. But... <laughs> okay. We're going to fabricate this claim on Pogu, who does have alliances, which I don't know... Like, if I can get my ally in, it would be great. But... Kandras is very powerful. And I've learned whenever, like, my I can't get him to join me against that guy because it's like, I can't declare war on my ally, but even though he's allied to me, he'll totally declare war on me. Alright, this is gonna be 87. Considering, ah, uh, that's really expensive, and I don't think I can go for Pegu first. He's, he's allied with my ally and one of the largest powers in the land. So I'm going to say no here because it's not like a particular good one of like the in both counties or anything. So I'm going to say no and instead fabricate a claim on Kusumi. I think that's a more vulnerable target. Still no allies and a inf really inferior military. And hopefully if he gets an ally, it won't be our ally. Right? We have a son. Okay, fine. Fine, we have a son. Arthur. Arthur's a good name. Arthur's a good name. May you be strong and wise. Alright, we have a spare. Alright, He-Man, no more. No more. That, that, that's all. That's all. That's all we need. One, I can disinherit. Two is gonna be hard because it costs renown to disinherit and... That's hard to get. It also costs a lot of prestige. Though we do get an extra plus one prestige because of what we got. Wow. He means an architect. Oh, wait. She gained architectural expertise. Plus one. 
Oh, she's not quite an architect yet, but she gained architectural expertise. Like, we're trying to become an architect. <laughs> but that's a plus one on stewardship, which now he gets plus ten managed domain from our wife. It's really good. Yeah, wife's helping out again. Yeah, you get that really high. Accused of claim fabrication. But we didn't even... Oh, our piety's gonna be wrecked. I guess we just won't be very pious this generation. Because to get more wives... There's just no options. Far from home, a stranger. Who are you? 22 stewardship. Gout ridden. Hmm. Administrator, fortune builder, 22. And I get a weak hook on him? Embrace Siddhartha and this will be your home. What's it? He's currently Digambara. Hmm. We, uh, we consider them astray. No head of faith. Okay. Uh, but embrace Siddhartha. This will be uh, your home. Uh, he currently is minus four. This will make him like me more. And also my council. Udina, our steward. No. I'm gonna fire you and put this guy in. 22 stewardship. <laughs> Look at this. Duchess, 20. Steward, 22. Ah, oh, please, just give me lots of free money. Lots of free money, please. Okay, now I'm not spending any money because as long as this guy is only allied with someone who's not here, I'm gonna go wreck him with my ally. Does our ally like us? Yes, he should join in. I'm gonna grab Kusumi. Hitting the jackpot on the counselors. Uh, I wouldn't say hitting the jackpot. My spy master's four. My chancellor's fourteen. Marshal fifteen is being pretty good. Poor hit having eleven. Well, it's much better than being six. Faith is tanking. Yeah, but the only way to solve that is to marry three more women. And um, like, I'm losing piety because I am not married. Too few spouses is the mi minus 0.5. And I never noticed this as a problem before. But my problem is, how did I lose a learning point? How did I get dumber? It was two. <laughs> um, hold on. My wife is also one on learning. We're both idiots. <laughs> We're, we're both really dumb. Oh no, our piety is going to be really bad. And we just lost 100 piety because uh, poor hit messed up. Got caught fabricating the claim. I guess we're just not going to have... Um... I mean, I could go on a pilgrimage, I guess. Another council meeting, another conflict. Chancellor and spy master are arguing. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna find a compromise. Who likes me less? Law. My Chancellor, which is good. Or Pontarica. My Spy Masters, that's garbage. Law. I wanna side with Law. Side with Law without upsetting Pontarica. Yeah. I want my steward to like me. He's got 22. How old is he? 30. Great. A good few decades on there. If I switch my wife's assistants. Yeah, I, I could... Set it to patronage, but it won't solve the problem, would it? It's just, it'll just become minus 0.4 to minus 0.3 because her learning is garbage as well. That's the problem. Oh, it was on learning. That's why I was two. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you? Is your ally still just that terrible one there? Yeah. The military strength is similar to ours, but his allies here. Not getting down here anytime soon. Worker diligence. Holding of Thaton. Got motivated workers. Thanks to my wife. Okay. You can demand payments for hooks. I'm actually going to take this now, because I think I do have a hook, right? 
Yeah, I have a hook on my steward. So I'm gonna take this. Hooks are now money. He doesn't have any money. Okay, fine. Maybe later. <clears throat> what men at arms will you go for? I suppose that depends on what the enemy has. Um, they don't have anything specific. Their allies have light footmen. But... The other type of soldiers are in-game are men-at-arms, expensive trained professionals. Um, it's going to cost us money to do that claim, but maybe I, maybe I should get some light footmen. It only costs 50. Let's get some light footmen. Also, uh, I, gotta, I don't want any of my good guys here to be my... Here's something that is a very easy mistake to make. If these guys are your champions, they can die in battle. Um, so, Mayor Pontarica is a champion. I don't care about him. The steward is not my champion. Good. My chancellor... Law, he is a champion, but he's not that great. But then again, we don't really have a better choice. So, I think Law... Um, if I go to Military Champions Law, where are you? Yeah, you're not great anyway, so forbid. And also Kameshwara, forbid. Okay, I don't want you going out there. We're short one champion. Was this the... Oh, this guy's pretty cheap. This guy's the good one, right? But it costs 40 to recruit him. I guess we have some time. He's got 18. And how much time is it until we get this? 17 months? Okay, we've got time. Um, champions. Let's get Thanbon in here. It costs 40. He's our new... He's our new top champion. Good. Okay, okay. What's the terrain? It's jungle. When we get over there. Which... I don't know if any of our current men at arms benefits from jungle. Oh, yeah. Light Footman, Benefit in Jungle, and Taiga and Forest. Taiga, Forest, Hills. Oh, so Light, Light Footman is actually the best choice. I mean, some Onagers would be useful as well. It's a Fort Level 2 castle with a Mott. A Mott and Bailey. Anyone know where that's from? A stone castle. A wooden castle. A palisade. A royal castle. A mott and bailey. Slaughter these villagers. Oh, Africans have a special archer type that gets bonuses in the jungle. Stronghold, good guess. Same producer as Stronghold. Lords of the Realm 2. Andy Rex got it. The programmer of Caesar 3 and the producer of Lords of the Realm 2 made Stronghold. <laughs> so there are some there are some similar vibes across those games. In case you didn't know. I think that's why Firefly is so nice to me because I played Caesar 3. Okay, we've got a decent amount of money. The claim is coming in soon. He still only has one ally. There's a plane flying overhead. Ignore that. Um, yeah, Thakur, who is decently strong, but he's attacking someone? Yes, yes, okay. His ally is currently in a war. Come on, claim. His ally's in a war. Now, now, the iron is hot. It is time to strike. Money should be just about enough. I think... I think I have made every decision I can. See it done. It costs 87. We have 10 left. We're not in debt. So they have 100 light footmen and 409 levies. Uh, they only have 76 gold, so they can't hire any mercenaries unless they're cheating. Astute intellectual. 
Okay, we have 100 light footmen. Let's declare war. My claims. It costs 125 prestige, which is should not be a problem this game. Oh wait, why is my piety going back up? Religious relations. I actually don't know where that's from. Why, why do I have religious relations? What is this? My priest task? Oh, I was losing piety because I was fabricating claims. Oh. I didn't realize that generated piety. Okay. Okay. I've Look, I've never had my learning be so low. I've never been this dumb, okay? <laughs> We're declaring war. Okay, I'm gonna call my ally into this. Allies are dumb, but we have an abundance of prestige on this game. So I'm gonna do it. Let's raise all armies. Let's slow the game down. Okay, our armies grouped up. I'm gonna come in from the north because this is a river here. And also it gives us a chance to group up with our ally. Of course, he'll join me in the war. So I'm gonna group up with my ally. Where's he going? This way? Okay, his enemy... The enemy ally joined. Is he... Is the enemy ally still at war? No. But he just finished his own war. Okay. Let's keep going here. This is all a river. So if I can avoid fighting him while crossing a river. That'll be good. So if I go all the way down here, down to the edge of Dagon, and cross this river, then he'll at least have to come to us. Why is our ally moving so much faster than us? <laughs> Why is he so fast? <laughs> okay, okay. So we are stronger by ourselves. Okay. His ally is here. So we have to be grouped up. I gotta stay with my ally here. We are definitely bigger. Now, ha oh. is it possible to get my ally to do anything? If I step over here, can my ally please just come with? Just come with. He's coming? He's coming? Okay. I, I don't know exactly how that ally works. I do wish there was a little bit of communication that we could do, like request ally, guard area, that sort of thing. That That is something that I would really, really, really want to do. Okay, I'm going to conquer the, the land that I want, and my ally is going to sit with me. Perfect. Perfect. He can't defeat us. We've vastly outnumbered. Right? You guys agree? Like, I just wish there was a request ally, defend area, right? Or request ally, attack objective, rather than them doing random things. Like, why did my ally move down to here and stop moving? I have no idea. Why did he do that? And this guy's not going to try defend his lands at all. Because if he charges at us right now, that's actually the best thing for us. But okay, we'll, we'll get... Yeah, or a join up with me, yeah. Right? Because then I could ask my ally to defend my capital or something like that. That would be really handy. You know, just simple, simple communications with allies. That, that, would, that would actually solve a lot of problems. A lot of weird feelings I have about this game. Yeah, and I don't think it's... complicated. The AI isn't that stupid sometimes. They notice patterns and just try to avoid it. Yeah, it's just sometimes they get stuck in a loop of doing weird stuff. Siege 1. Okay, I got 4 gold from doing that. So, I don't really want to charge into their troops. If I just hold on to this, will I eventually win? I mean, I'm not losing money. See, like, I, I would charge into that. But my ally won't come with, would he? Like, if I slow this down... 
Oh, my ally will come with. He is following me. Okay. Let's go wreck him. He's coming with me. Okay, good. I just wish I could select his units and give suggestions. Like, he won't always follow my orders, but I would say, this is what I'm planning to do. Maybe you'd like to come with. Okay. Good. If we can capture some people. Injured Marshal. Alright. He, he might not survive. But we have some decent replacements. Why is your prowess one? No wonder why you got injured. There's nothing that can be done. How about go to the gym a little bit or something? You're, you're wounded again? Brutally mauled. Oh! Oh, okay. See those candles for intelligence? Yeah. Um, how are you a brilliant strategist but zero prowess? That just boosts Marshall, huh? Cautious leader, brilliant strategist, immediately dies. <laughs> okay. He's a strategist, not a duelist. That's true. That's true. Who's a... Uh, he was a... He was a captain. Or the commander, rather. Okay, we're gonna siege on this. So, his ally's running home. He... Well, yeah. It's, it's gonna be a mess for his soldiers. Okay. This should be pretty straightforward. I can ransom. 50? Yeah. Give me the money. So we're not gonna take Pogu or Dagon anytime soon. So we should build up after this. Also, I still have that hook, but just still broke. Fine. Fine. Alright, but this this is going well. I think I'm doing very careful decisions. My marshal died. It's okay. Um, I have this guy. How much is... 15? Aspiring blade master. Forder. Crosses water without advantage penalty. Tough soldier. Paranoid, arbitrary, gluttonous. Paranoid and arbitrary is a bit scary. How much is this? 10? Great. New marshal. Uh, we should assign a new captain as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, commander died. Who was our marshal, but he wasn't a very good soldier anyway. <laughs> skill-wise, skill-wise. Um, spouse, up to the task. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect results, yet I am often disappointed. After a long day, I am complaining to... Haman, when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. Law loses opinion. How much does he like me right now? 20? Ponta Rica, 24. Mali is 39. You know, I can't change the Pura hit. So I'm... And she gains opinion of me. Oh, Law gets insulted, but the others get... Well, Mayor Pontarica is Spymaster Vassal Champion. No. I can change the Spymaster, I can't change Mali. So, Mali... No, I don't want to lay with Duchess. Uh, I, no, no more kids, no more kids. Uh, Puro hit. get smarter. Because I can't fire you. Oh, her le wait. How is her learning so much higher? Oh, it's plus three just from studying learning? Immediately? Yeah, that's why you want your your wife to be really skilled. No, why? Why are you pregnant again? <laughs> I specifically did not lay with you. All right, disband all. Let's increase control in our new lands, which only has 60. Okay. I gained 150 prestige because of my wife. Great. All right. So I've conquered a little bit of the Duchy of Thaton. Not my immediate choice, but there's now this guy, which is super weakened. So instead of conquering the Duchy of Thaton, it might be wise to fabricate a claim. 
I know that causes us to lose piety, but this is now the best place for us to conquer. And I can easily set my rally point to here. Also, I saw some people confused about um, raising... Uh, what was that? <clears throat> uh, raising armies. There is a way to raise local armies. Um, I know there's a button for that somewhere. Does anyone know where that is? She gained major architectural expertise. Wow. New perk. Your child was not meant to be! <laughs> uh, she's no longer pregnant. Okay. Click the rally flag. Right, this is it. I, I've seen it before. There it is. There's the raise local army. You move the rally flag to the location and raise local army. Seen it before, I just forgot where it is. That's where that is. Um, Taxman, cutting cornerstones. I'm going to be building next. So I think I will do cutting cornerstones. And I'm either conquering this or building something. Okay, as we solidify our control on the barony of uh, Mia... No, uh, the... The... These are baronies. This is County of Kusumi. I assume this is the city of Kusumi? Actually, what is that? It's a castle. Yeah, it's a castle. So you can really cram, cram up stuff. So Because like here in Thaton, for example, we have this, which is the count... This is the county of Thaton. This is the city of Mutina, which has a vassal in charge of it. Uh... This is empty land. We could, like, actually construct a new holding. It costs a lot, but it creates basically a whole nother one of this. Like, over here we've got this uh, temple that we can build stuff, which our Purohit's in charge of. So you can really cram up a lot of stuff in a very small area. So, like, sometimes I was, like, looking at these tiny nations and I was like, how do they have so much stuff? How do they have so many levees and stuff? It's easy. Just build a new castle here and then you just have a whole bunch more stuff you can build so you can build very very tall with a very little land right so it might be wise to do that instead if you don't see a way to expand your holdings maybe just build upon what you've got uh for years my skill in philosophy and theology has served me well and it occurs to me that this knowledge may also be of use to you I would be happy to share what I know in order to gain your favor. Mayor Pontarica? 34% increases my learning by 2. 66% I gain taking theology lessons for 5 years. And he gets a weak hook on me. I could gain prestige instead. You know, the learning is actually really good. There's a one-third chance it's just straight-up benefits. The only thing we risk on the 66% is the weak hook, but the theology lessons is actually plus three instead of plus two, though it only lasts five years. But it does help us a lot. I think I'll risk the weak hook. He likes me. He shouldn't abuse it too badly. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. All right, he got the weak hook. But that does mitigate my piety loss. Right? That that actually helps. It's uh, either a win-win. Yeah, he's got a favor hook on me. It's either a win-win or a uh, win and kind of lose. But not that bad. Okay. We're fabricating a claim. Good. All right. Oh, income at 3.6. That's not bad. My prestige, plus 2.2. Yeah, what's giving us the plus one? It is the arrogant, right? Yeah, a lot of these traits have negative stuff. Like, sometimes you see gluttonous and all of that. But it's actually, there's some pretty good side effects that you should consider. Am I head of culture? Oh, that's a good point. Not wrong, that's the faith. The candle. You know, I don't even know what's good. City planning, casus belly, gavel kind. You know, I just see a lot of... What does this do? Can use individual de jure county casus belly. This, this means we can fabricate claims less. 
This is can build a whole bunch of new things like village centers. Mots, barracks, banners. You know, Casus Belli is probably cultural and regional. Oh, so if we are in Deccan, India, we could do it. I think that's fine. All right. So this guy, now, he does only still have that ally. But we're now next door to him. We can raise up our army and invade straight away. We've got 900 people. He's got half of that. He's got more light footmen, though. The road! Ah, these big projects. My steward, Kameshwa, informs me that there is a desperate need for a new road to traverse the county of Thaton. Okay, a commoner named Thaduka Wareru, which is not as good as my steward. He's chaste, forgiving, sadistic. Astute, intellectual. He's got a lot of learning, though. That's actually really good. All right. Uh, see it done. I might gain suitorship. The project begins overseen by Thaduka. No, I think my steward will handle this. Get the road done properly. My steward will handle this. Because my steward has 22 stewardship. My wife has 21. Manage domain plus 10. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. All right, good. The bonus learning I got is uh, negating our loss of piety. So we shouldn't lose our level of devotion, which is dutiful. Our prestige is going to go much faster this game. Yeah. The road. Lack of expertise. I keep telling them to go straight through the field, but Thaduka insists the, the, on rerouting them through the nearby woods. Kameshwar is visibly upset with the roadwork in Thaton. Thaduka keeps insisting on his approach. The soil in the field is uneven and not dense enough, my liege. The forest is a much better path. Thaduka does seem to know best me means Kameshwar hates me. And I gain stress because I'm arrogant. You know, I don't need Thaduka. And I don't need that one point of road quality. Just listen to your betters, peasants. Yeah, overall that's better. Yeah, the build a road challenge is recurring when you take the steward focus. Yeah, the build a road and the aqueduct. Those are recurring things in different regions. It just gives you a chance to do some things. Rally point there. We have 150 in the bank, but I might be declaring war soon. Does my ally still like me? Yep. He doesn't look very happy, but neither does his wife. Countess Lindon? The road commissioned improvements, finding the already completed parts of the new road immensely beneficial. The Merchant's Guild in Thaton has made a donation for the sake of expanding the road further. I could just take the money, but you know, I think I'll take the road progress and road quality. I don't need the money right now. I would use money to build things, so... I'll say this will help the road. Because that will just help me build things anyway. We have some light footmen. Do I want to recruit some bowmen? No. Might cost us a little bit too much to go to war here. We should be able to crush this. Especially if I get my ally Sri Setra in on as well. Yeah, okay. Then I can sort of focus on maybe getting Pugu. It's not often the commoner addresses me directly, but the Duka reports on the construction efforts. The plan for the road was to pass through this field. He still wants to go through the forest. I lose 50 gold. And stress because I'm arrogant. No, it's far too expensive. Road quality decreases by one. Yeah, and I think he doesn't like me anymore. It's far too expensive. I need the money. Yeah, Bowman would be a good counter, but just a bit too expensive. I think we can win this. Okay. Because this costs 78. Oh, I could have afforded it. Why was it... Uh, it was much cheaper. Okay, let me just check. You have only one ally who's over here. Okay, that guy's going to lose his ally. So we can now declare war. Oh, wait, there's a truce, right. 
I just remembered. How long is the truce? Uh, until 8, 7, 8. Oh, that's a long while. Oh, okay. That's fine then. I'll just have the claim. I forgot the truce. Got the truce. Okay. Um, organized inns for 10 years, which is holding taxes and control growth. Get them back on the road. Road progress, road quality, road progress. Get them back on the road gives us road quality. This gives us holding taxes plus 10%. I think I'll take the 10% tax increase. Because now it's going to be building and... Yeah, building and... Building tall time. Oh, right. Arthur needs a guardian. Um, let's pick our... Steward. Send proposal. Also, is there a learning focus here? Arthur, rowdy. Currently focused on education. Rowdy children often do well with intrigue education. Struggle with living. Oh, he's focusing on intrigue. Yeah, but I'm not a fan of the intrigue. Go stewardship. All right. So we need some time to pass before we can declare war. We are ready to declare war at any time. Though we got to build up. So in our city here, what should I build first? Farms and fields. Motivated workers, a little less time. Uh, the cost is also minus 5%. I think I'll wait for the road to finish. My steward seems almost shocked. I've been imp uh, inspecting the road construction in Thaton and the peasant workers are so much more efficient than I expected. I could take 60 stress for construction lessons learned. But I think not. 60 is huge. Road progress increased by 1, gain 150 prestige. Learning from peasants, the very thought is abhorrent. I'll wait for the road to finish because that can sometimes give good bonuses. County control of Kusumi is 76. Okay. Alright. Time to build tall until something happens. Because I can't take Pugu yet. Might have to wait for him to die. Uh, the road work is going fine, the ground is firmer, uh, and stretches flatter than we hoped for. Expand the road further. Holding taxes plus 2%. Okay, things are going exactly as I want them to. Control growth. Perfect opportunity to cut costs. Holding taxes plus 5%. I'll expand the road further. We're building tall. And our wife is now an architect. <laughs> that's, that's so good. Okay. Cutting cornerstones here. Okay, the road should be done any second now. Alright, so far this has been a nice, stable, controlled, positive run. <laughs> The road network through Thaton is finally complete. This will carry people where they need to go for decades to come. So we've got an improved road network, which is holding taxes and development growth. Okay. Paduka, I have more work for you. No. He's... He's got super high learning, but... Not like I can put learning on my council. But no harm... If he joins my court, right? He doesn't hate me. Yeah, I have more work for you. Just join the court. Building construction time, holding construction time. Yeah, let's go building construction time. Minus 30%. Because now... What's the first thing we can build? Military camps increases our levies and archer damage. No, I should focus on money things. So our current income is 4.1. Farms and fields is plus... Oh, we already have mansions. That's usually the first thing I build. So I think I could just get some farms and fields. 142, okay.
Development growth is so important for new tech, yeah. Okay, this is going pretty well, I think. I think I think we've made some good decisions. Right? Too few spouses, but that's okay. Now, we have a little bit of a succession problem. Because of Atha Thaton. But it's just one son, and I think my wife is too old. 47, she's not having any more kids. Okay, okay. One forty. Uh, let's go ahead. Farms and fields. One forty-two. Let's construct this, and it only takes twenty months. <laughs> That's crazy. Zaya comes of age. I am proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult with sufficient tutelage. Even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards diplomatic influence, such as Zaya, can come to truly understand it with an excellent grasp of all manners of etiquette, an understanding of all kinds of entertainment, and the eloquence to go with it. He will have little trouble navigating a life of court. Charismatic negotiator. But, I mean, his diplomacy is six. Right? They grow up fast. And he does have an evil atheist wife. <laughs> In Yamin. Alright. They're now married. Okay. My ally is not that old either, right? He's 41. How old am I? 36? Okay, so we've fabricated a claim here. How long is our truce now? It's until 878. Two more years. We're building a farm here. How is this guy's diplomacy looking? Still just allied with those guys? These guys have gotten a little bit bigger. But they're not super powerful. How about my allies? Oh, their military strength is getting big. A thousand? I might want to build up something then. Maybe in Sitaun? I could build some barracks? Or maybe military camps? 95? Yeah, I think I'll build some military camps, get us an extra 100 levies. Skirmisher damage, plus one. Skirmisher pursuit, plus one. Yeah. So I'll build some military camps, then if I have money, get some archers. Stewardship perk ready. Let's get... Taxman. Unlock. Oh, so don't suppose I still have that hook. He just doesn't have any money. Hooks on me, right, Mayor Ponta Rica. Right. Piety plus 0.7 a month from this, that's good. She still has a plus 3 studying learning. I just gained 110 extra caches because of my fantastic steward. This is the kind of stuff that as a small realm can help so much. With that money, we could build... The military camps. 17 months. Wow. Professional workforce minus 30% rate. Bellwood streams. Thank you so much. You just initiated 10 Zacolites. Everyone enjoy the subs. Thank you so much, Bellwood streams. Okay, this run's going pretty good. We've actually got a decent amount of money. There's still another year for our... Uh, war. So I think I'll raise some bowmen. And we're not even in debt. We're getting the the military camps down. As soon as that military camp is down, I will probably declare war and take uh, the county of Hinthada, wiping a player, Hinthada, off the map. Yeah. Count Athinka. Ah, and control has reached 100 here. Great. Our income is... Yeah. Lost a little bit for raising these guys. But it should help us having some archers versus his 200 light footmen. His ally has some light footmen as well. All right. <clears throat> I like seeing that prestige be so high. 
The truce is until 10th March next year. Crop fields constructed. Good. Income back up to 4.3. That's what I like to see. Alright, alright. I'm gonna conquer that. Last time I started... I waited too long to start doing things. And, like, a lot of this land was conquered by the few factions here. And the fewer factions there are, it m means most likely they're allied to each other and stuff like that. Every man for himself. Zaya is fiddling nervously with his sleeve as I open the door to my chambers. What is he doing here at this hour? My deepest apologies, but I must speak with you in private. I have discovered something very interesting. Zaya has uncovered a secret of Mali, my Purohit. He is willing to share it with me if I let him off the hook. I can gain stress because I'm arrogant. Zaya can lose some... He's a content empath. What is he going to do? You know, I don't think Mali is going to do much to me, right? You think you can make demands? Tell me or else. He loses 30 opinion of me. Do I want my son to hate me? Zaya Thaton gains a trait wounded? Let's not risk our heir. Do I take the 35 stress to get the hook? I let him off the hook. I get a hook on her. I gain 35 stress because I'm arrogant, which is not that much. It's a lot, but it's not a lot a lot. So I think I'll swap the hook onto my Puro hit. Take the stress? Yeah. I swear after this you'll owe me no longer. She's a non-believer? <laughs> of all the things to, to have a secret on for my Puro hit. Oh, okay. My, my religious advisor, which is appointed to me, is a non-believer. Okay. Um, don't suppose you have any money. I can blackmail for a hook. If Mali declines, the secret will be exposed. It's only 60%. She is brave, minus 20. You know... If, if that's exposed... I don't know if uh, I should. If that's exposed, it might cost me piety. And we're already teetering on piety. Let's deal with this war first. Um, this is gonna complete in five months. So just a couple months after the truce ends, which is great. We will wait for the military camps to finish. Uh, we do have the 100 archers, 100 light footmen. Pretty good champions. Uh, let me make sure none of my important council are champions. Your steward. Your chancellor. Your marshal and champion. Your spy master and vassal. Mayor Pontarica. He's a strong vassal and he's garbage. If he dies in war, that's actually fine. Where's Mayor Pontarica? I'm gonna force you to be one of my champions. Because I wouldn't mind if you died. Okay, only my marshal is... 11 prowess? Do I have any... I don't really have a good replacement. So I think I'll take Udina out of my champions. Udina, Udina. Forbid. Oh, there's two Udinas. Which Udina is this? Another Udina, which is not as good. Alright. This way, my council doesn't empty out. Irrational blackguard. Okay. Alright. The truce should have ended on the 10th of March. There we go. Truce is over. Uh, I'm just waiting for this to finish to make sure I'm properly done. You can get rid of the spy master faster by making him the commander of a force. It's a good point. I gained 150 prestige, impeccable household. Yes. All right, two months for these military camps to be done. And then war. I do have that claim, right? 
yeah <clears throat> check his alliances still just this one guy hide tents completed declare war my claims let's call my ally prestige is something we have in abundance let's raise all armies slow the game down make sure things run properly sinful poor hit exposed oh not mine okay not my poor hit okay i'm gonna charge in right now so i can fight off duchess tending wounds tamala gained attentive care for five years tamala because he's wounded my wife is gonna heal him all oh, right also this army udina the commander um no no army border You know, I think it's fine. I'll leave him in charge. Unless he dies. <laughs> uh, of course, I'll join you in the war. Great. Duchess tending wounds. Ally joins war. Enemy ally joins war. It'll take him a little while to get here. So I should be able to... What is this? You'll probably win. Better army commander. He's defending in jungle. More army commander traits. More soldiers. More men at arms. Counters. Okay, good. That's a symbol I like to see. A teal plus. Alright, my ally's joining in as well. We'll be able to fight this off. My ally will reinforce me, so when his ally shows up, it'll be a guaranteed win. And we can start the siege now. Victory. Good. Siege ongoing. Here comes the enemy ally. To my place? <clears throat> nope, turning around. Alright. As long as he's wasting time and doesn't have onagers. Yeah, he doesn't have onagers. We'll conquer this first. We'll base race, but I've got a clear head start. What is this symbol? Well supplied. Okay. Right. Six months. We should get this first. We've got a three-month head start. See, I wish I could tell my ally to stay here or tell my ally to go fight him. Right? Just some basic instructions like that would help so much. Yeah, I forgot to click the fight just now. Okay, yeah. We'll win this. We'll win this. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, if he delays me... No, no, okay. If he attacked here, it might have actually worked. Because it would delay the siege. The siege, I know. Siege 1. Enforce demands. Yes. So be it. Disband all. Anyone we can ransom? No. Prisoners taken in siege. We've got some people. Siege 1, great. Council... Marshal Udina, I want you to increase control in Hintara. What's my... Who are these people? This one-year-old is in a dungeon. Who are they? Are these people... Oh, this was a daughter. Who is this? Why are these people in my dungeon? What am I going to do with these children? Negotiate release. Loses train. Ransom. I got a weak hook on Shantao. 
If I negotiate release and get the weak hook, she loses 20 opinion. But if I ransom and get a weak hook, they just will accept. She wants freedom, plus 100%. <laughs> um, sometimes you can gain piety by killing them. No, it's fine. Uh, I think I'll just ransom to get them out. Uh, leave the prison and we have a weak hook on you. Yeah, maybe you'll have money someday. Then again, the hooks will probably expire. Whatever. I don't need... I don't, I don't need these kids in my prison. You're just taking up space. A good deal. Yeah, sure. Yep. Whatever. Get out. No. Okay. Prisoner released. Okay. Taton grows. Taton? More like that one. Okay. Ah. Oh, that's good. Um... Pugu, still allied with two strong forces here, which is not so great. So I think now we go back to building up, right? When this guy dies, we might be able to do something. How old are we? 39? Okay. Alright, this, this has gone nicely. I think I have done some careful, clever calm decisions which is key to trying to avoid the functional randomness of this game all right there is a corrupt tax collector i have noticed various inconsistencies and omissions in the tax records for hinthara it's clear these errors cannot be simple mistakes someone has been embezzling funds unfortunately the trail of this mysterious culprit is erratic enough that it is difficult for me to determine exactly which is responsible. I could investigate the matter discreetly, but there's a 60% chance that they just elude for five years. I could assume direct control over uh, taxation in, in Thada, which is plus 20 control. That's, that's a new one, right? Yeah, plus 20 control is great. Reliable tax collectors, it's not worth it. Execute a lot of them for dread. You know, I think I'll just fix the uh, county control right now. Assume direct control over taxation in Hintada. That means this jumps up to 77. And my marshal can get off that sooner. Alright, we've wiped someone off the map. Time to build. What's next? Hmm. We could build... Alright, my hook on my steward has expired. That's fine. I mean, I could... I should probably focus on money. So what's the most worth it? We've got hide tents here. I can build... Farms and fields again on this one. Another 0.5. That'll be good. I'll build up my direct holdings. Oh, this is in a jungle, so forestry, outposts, this is different, elephantry, number of knights plus one. Right, th these, these options are different. I think I'll do farms and fields and sit down. To the Serene Duke Ganda of Thaton, I've been corresponding with your Chancellor, and I must say, come to see you in a new light. Wait, who is this? Oh, the Pugu guy. Marshal impresses Vassal. You gain 75 prestige. Right. See, these things are functionally random. Like, you can figure out and choose. Farms and fields, yeah. Instruct. You can figure out, like, oh, it's good to have counselors with high stats right but you don't know exactly what they're gonna do you don't know exactly when the money or the prestige is coming in Zaya Tatan gained 20 of opinion of you because of my wife okay great so I do have a spare in my succession I'll have to figure out which one I want to succeed Oh, some wars going on here. Are you fighting someone? No? 
Oh. Pagan. The original guy died. This is now... a bunch of vassals. So yeah, Pagan stayed together because there is the title, the Pagan Dachi. So the main son gets the Pagan Dachi. However, you see this, uh, the holdings? What happens is it's split between the sons. So this guy, this county, which used to be under direct control, is now to one of the, the sons. So that becomes a vassal state. So right now our income is really high because of all of our four... Uh, counties, they're all directly under me. So there's no vassal cut. Whereas, for example, the city um, is under a vassal. Right? This little um, barony. So this is the tax we get from him. But um, if it was under me, like if I stripped him of his title and put myself in charge, the tax would be higher. Do I have enough uh, of the territory to form the duchy? I think I already have the duchy. I start with the Thaton duchy. The next duchy next to me is the Sri Sri Setra duchy, which is up this one, which I've only got one. <clears throat> so I, I already have the Thaton duchy. It keeps the kingdom together, but or rather, it keeps the realm together, but it's. Um, you can still lose domains. Which, if you have too many domains, is fine. Um, but if you have not enough, not so good. Okay. Defensive measures, centralization. I think I do centralization. Yeah. Realm capital plus 0.3 a month growth. Development growth. Do that. Alright. So what else do we want to build? So if I look at succession, let's say I suddenly die. Uh, Zeya, the primary heir, will hold on to Thaton and Hinthada. So those are the ones I actually want to develop because if I suddenly die or get assassinated, then if the realm is split, the ones which stay under me directly, these two, because these two will go to my other son and it'll become a vassal. So I want to build up the uh, the Thaton Dutch uh, no the um, the Thaton uh, County and the Hinthada County. So I actually want to develop this one next, just in case something happens. Military camps, trade ports, hunting grounds, elephant tree, forestry outposts, watchtowers. Like ideally, I'd just build another holding there, but. That's not. So what do I, what do I want to put here? Not a lot makes money. Maybe I, I build up some levy stuff. Another military camp. Right, get another hundred levies. Hunting grounds, no. I think military camps. Build up my army even more. Because our army is looking pretty big. 1,400. Our neighbors are looking at 1,002. 1,008. Thank you. The whole... 1,002. 600. 700. Okay, so... 1,008 Kandras is the biggest one there. This guy, yeah. He's not going to lose his alliances until someone dies. Um, Kandras might die. He's 61 and his health is poor. So when he dies, Pugu loses the support there. My glory is widely known. Ah, look at that. I'm distinguished. My crown color has become this... This is actually very close to my favorite color. It's like this blue steel kind of color. It's really nice. What effect does a trade port do? Um, I'm blocking some effects of it. Uh, the trade port, as far as I can tell, doesn't do all that much. It's just uh, tax holding, development growth, level one small harbor. OK, 
Okay, so when the leader of Kandras dies, Pugu will lose his alliance with that guy. Oh, fields constructed, great. If I can get this guy to really like me... So I'll start a sway scheme on him. If I get him to really like me, he'll join me instead of Pugu in a war. So I think that's my next thing. I wait until the leader of Kandras dies. Pugu loses the alliance with Kandras. And then I try and sway this guy to my side. And I want you to support schemes. Smallpox. Okay. Send for a physician now. I need to save this guy. This is, this is my really good steward. Send for a physician right now. I have the money. I'll pay for it. This three? Who's Narathu? 13, 11, 6. Narathu claims to be trained in alternative medicine. He's got the highest learning. Champy is quite experienced. That's another he man. Uh, Champy. It's only 11. He's got some good traits as well, yeah. He's got the highest learning. And it's cheap, but it spends... Oh, it spends 100 piety. Which means I'll be negative piety. For a long time. That's bad, right? None of them are great. Do I... Can I appoint someone else? So many windows. How do I just search who's in my court? Can I... How do I filter this? These, this is everyone in my court. Does anyone have super high... My poor hit... I can't, like, set my poor hit as my... I can. This guy has 19 learning. He's... Taduka Wairero. If I set him, can can he be? This is a better choice, right? I have Thaduka who has 19 learning. I can just appoint him as court physician. So they all fail to impress me. Thaduka, you are now my court physician. With 19 learning. You're a champion. Uh, Thaduka Wereru. Okay, so I need to make sure you are not a champion that goes to war. What physician forbid? Okay, we're actually short a champion. Wanna? You wanna be a champion? Grey Eminence. Scholar. Eager Reveler. He's not great. But... Better than no champion. Recruit Swana. Yeah, okay. You're a new champion. Okay. So, I have a court physician. Paduka. Alright. That's all I can do, right? Okay. 19 learning should be really good. He's currently sick. Smallpox, come on. He just straight up died. Um, I did have a decent replacement. Paduka, my court physician, also good at stewardship. All right.
Well, at least smallpox is over. Just took my great steward. All right. Things have been going pretty well, all things considered, so we can't complain. Keep my rally point there. All things considered, this has been going fine. Yeah, it was just him. It was just him. Like, he got it, everyone else was fine. The next day, it was over. Oh, he was the guardian for Atha, right. Um, guess it's the Duchess now. Okay. So, we need to get this guy on my side. How is my sway scheme going? Okay. But my spy master is garbage. There are better ones here. Uh, but this guy is a powerful vassal who wants a seat. But he really likes me, so it should be... I don't know. If he doesn't have a seat, oh no, he will hate me. Humble versus arrogant, minus 15. This vassal will hate me if I take him out of this position. Means he's not great at anything else either. Hmm. I think it's fine. It's fine. I'll just. He's just a mayor, how dangerous can he be? I guess so, I guess so. Thanbon, it's 13 intrigue, it's just much better. Yeah, thing is it'll be like minus 60. Sure. Yeah, it's now minus 24. 892. Yeah, it's 10 years fired from council position. Maybe we can get him to like us a little bit later. So, um, yeah, support schemes. Alright, Hinthada has been building these hide tents. In this place, what else can we build to boost our income? Not much. I could get the trade port. That's one for two. Not much can be built here. Just the trade port as well. So I think we're building a trade port next. Those hide tents are down. That increased our levy size by a hundred. The thousand five. I should get some onagers before I go conquer anything. Oh, he's, he was swayed. Great. If I get him to really like me, he'll join us on the war. It's like minus 50 because he's got to attack an ally. So we got to make sure this is... We got to think of his base happiness as 50. So we got to get this over 50. Okay. Okay. So not much going on right now. That's fine. How much would it take to convince Pegu to become your vassal diplomatically? I don't know because the other day I started a game and literally by April of the first year, Pegu is like, you can make Pegu your vassal. <laughs> um, how, how do you, how do you, if I look at here, offer vassalage, he will not accept... Base reluctance, here's de jour, your vassal, difference in the military strength, plus five. Eleven's actually pretty close. So if I sway him, I can just say, become my vassal. 62%. Let's try it. Let's try it. I don't know why that one game I started and like immediately it was like you can become my vassal 
Anyway, my wife found 50 bucks again, so that's great, which means we can now build that trade port. For more development growth as well. In my capital, which will go to my heir, if anything. We're currently age 43, we're feeling fine. Okay, uh, is my second son an adult yet? No, he's 14. He's an evil lackey. Zaya is a content empath. Rowdy, callous, generous, temperate. When he becomes an adult, I'll see which one's better. And we're not dying soon, but just in case we're preparing for that. Vassal tax contribution plus 10%. Levy reinforcement rates. You know, I'll do the defensive measures first. In case someone declares war on us now. I don't think anyone will. We've got an ally. We're pretty powerful ourselves. People in this region aren't that powerful. Okay. Okay. Only danger is Pugu will be a very strong vassal. You need to undermine them afterwards, yeah. How long does this studying learning stay? What it would is it just permanent? Oh it is permanent, wow, okay. Does this mayor still hate me? Yeah. He was sweet. Okay. So if I look at this, can I just offer vassalage? He'll not accept. Uh doesn't like me quite enough. Need to get him to like me even more. Otherwise, what else can we do? It's just minus four right now. We'll just keep swaying. What? Ecstatic peasantry. The peasants in the county of Hintada are in a good mood. The harvest is bountiful, the roads are safe, the village elders are telling nonsensical stories of cows producing honey-laden milk and geese laying golden eggs. The peasants are praising me for their fortune and have sent a delegation carrying gifts. I could graciously accept it's, it's 20, it's not a lot. Uh, I could send more to gain dread and get 75, but they'll hate me. Um, County reinvestment is development growth plus 10% popular opinion. You know, 20 is not a lot. The development growth, this is where? Hintada? Yeah, it is a primary title to my heirs. So I will do it. I'll do it. 10% growth. Yeah. Give them the gift back. Oh yes, I forgot. He had a hook on me. That's why I was feeling like he had some power, but it just expired. <laughs> perfect, perfect. He hated me. I should have just waited for the hook to expire. I forgot about that. I was like, I feel like he's got some power. I couldn't remember what it was. He had a hook on me. That's what it was. A scheme at court. And it's not the mayor. My spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not know who, someone is plotting to kill my marshal, Udina. We must stop with the villain behind this. Okay, which means, unfortunately, I gotta switch this to disrupting schemes. A Marshal Udina, not the best Marshal in the world, but the best we've got right now. It's kind of important to keep him alive. Uh, though, what is he doing right now? What is your prowess? 11? Organized levies. Increased military, possible side effects, increased minute arms, maintenance. Train commanders will actually get us more money, right? Because minute arms, maintenance. Oh no, only when it's raised, I think. Right? Small harbor constructed. Great. 
Oh no, this does get us more money. Yeah, immediately. It's another point one. Okay, the small harbor was constructed. Look at our prestige, 1,200. Just that plus one from being arrogant gives us so much prestige. And yeah, that's great. That helps so much. Uh, I wish I could increase my renown more, but it's hard when you're a tiny nation in the world. Look at that. that that's us there. Commander promoted. Who is this? Deepa Dagon? 20 Marshal? With 21 prowess. This guy's amazing. I, he, I'm gonna give him your job. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna give him your job. He's he's actually just way better. Arthur comes of age. I'm proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Arthur the intricacies of administration. All efforts have come to naught, however. Few would be impressed with his understanding of the subject. He was stewardship focused and he got six. And it's just a thrifty clerk. Temperate, generous, callous. I guess we know who's inheriting the, the realm. Not... Arthur. Grow up fast. Okay, now, Udina. I wanted to replace you with the guy you found, who is clearly superior, by five points on Marshall, and stronger on, um... Prowess. 21. Udina is only 11. He's just way better, and... 20 years younger? No. 10 years younger. 9 years. And you lose 20 opinion, that's fine. Fire. Yeah, train commanders. Get them all great. Also, uh, Dagon, Marshal and Champion. Let's make sure you're not actually a champion. Uh, I don't want you dying. Uh, Deepa, you are not a champion. You're just training the other champions. Okay. Don't want you dying. Asha Thaton can marry. Oh, he was swayed. Can you become a vassal now? Offer vassalage. <clears throat> All right. A diplomatic approach. Yeah, we can only hold one more holding anyway. So let's offer vassalage. He will accept by just about... I accept your gracious offer of vassalization, my liege. Excellent. Pugu is under our control. Well, not directly our control, but he's now basically permanently our ally, I guess. That's how you could say it. He's my vassal. All right. Uganda. Can you form the duchy now? Um, as far as I know, we already have found a new kingdom. Oh. Uh, we already have the duchy. It, it, we start with the duchy. It's already here, the title. So we now own the duchy and a bit. So he's a vassal, so he's still a player in the game, but he... He listens to me when I tell him to do things. Okay, but I wanted to build more. Uh, in this place, I can construct another building. Um, plus garrison, plus levies, forestry, plus money. I mean, I should just get a trade port. Just get more and more money. Let's build tall. Did this guy die? This guy's still alive. He's 65. When he dies, things are gonna be a bit more of an upset. This guy's gonna stay my ally. Okay, issues. Powerful vassal expects... Yeah, this guy. Are you good at anything? Oh, you're actually a good marshal.
You know, but you don't hate me now. So I'll leave it for now. But you're actually a good marshal, so if you if I needed to give you a position, we can. We can. So here's here's something that I'm not entirely sure. This guy is allied to for example, Kandras is allied to my vassal. Right? We just lost something. Uh, if I attack him. Will my vassal listen to me or his ally? How much do I need for a kingdom? A lot of money. And a lot of... Um, piety. And my level of fame needs to be illustrious. And I need to hold three or more duchies. Realm size is 30 or more. So realm size need to be 30, which is a lot. That's for a kingdom. That's not that's not even yeah. Like a kingdom is like that. The Pagan Kingdom. Construction negotiations. Oh. My wife got a beneficial deal in Thaton. Building construction gold cost is cheaper. I can build a new duchy building. Uh, what's what's good? beneficial deal now would be a good time to build something how for 10 years tax office holding taxes plus 10 percent monthly prestige stress loss the leisure palace uh, royal reserves plus 0.8 that's a good one just straight cash always good to have right i think i just want the straight cash royal reserves 255 it's a lot but We've got the 10% discount. Military academies, night effectiveness, army maintenance. Military academies, good early. Yeah, plus two knights with better effectiveness and army maintenance. Military academy is a good choice as well. I mean, 0.8 is a lot, but not like a lot, a lot. It's not like two or something like that. Maybe I go for the military academies. Yeah, maybe that. Vassal allies never join wars against you, but you cannot call them to war either. Ah, right. Alright, we're still trying to sway him. <clears throat> um, what I should be doing is... Just in case, uh, return to swaying this guy. Because he's going to be my ally for a while. Well, I don't know. He's 50. It's not, maybe not that long. Maybe I should sway him. This guy is 26. Let's try sway the Pagan ruler. So when this guy dies, it might be easier to conquer him in case they're allied or something. Let's get a head start on swaying the Pagan ruler. Hmm. Good. Okay. What the heck are those region names? Yeah, like, no, no creator is playing this region, are they? I'm playing Southeast Asia. We've got one choice for Southeast Asia, which is... This. Burma slash Myanmar. <laughs> uh, are the Seljuks here? I don't know. They're usually somewhere around here. Maybe in the Byzantine Empire. I don't know. But yeah. No creator plays here. You thought it was just Europe? Yeah, in Crusader Kings 2, correct me if I'm wrong, it ends at India, right? It ends like here. And I'm not even sure how far east it goes on this side, but... It did not have this in Crusader Kings 2. So when Crusader Kings 3 came out, I was like, should I play it? And I was like, oh, they have a little bit in Southeast Asia. It's not really, like, Thailand's here, Malaysia would be here. So this map being torn like this implies DLC will include China, Thailand, Malaysia, or at least the peninsula, maybe a little bit of Indonesia. Like, it doesn't imply that it'll go any further south than this, because there's the whole of 
South Africa as well, which is not here, but this torn map implies there might be a DLC to expand further eastwards. Okay, so everything's going pretty well. Pretty well, right? Like, things are going okay. Um, now's not the time to strike, but there's these three counties of my ally. Uh, he is slightly older than I am. If he dies, the alliance is over and we can go kill him. He's currently only allied with my vassal, which shouldn't be a problem but yeah that alliance will end my alliance with him will end most importantly and then i can conquer the next duchy of Strixetra. Mm. Mm. the need to change the game name <laughs> crusader kings well thing is did the crusaders come here very much i mean basically includes mongolia Indiscreet counselor, having served me faithfully as my court chaplain, I entrusted Mali with the ability to travel freely within my court. However, I now have learned she has taken advantage of my hospitality by being indiscreet with my son, Atha. What? Atha, the evil lackey who sh we should disinherit as long as Zaya doesn't die. We learn of her lover's secret. I mean, they're not having any kids. She's 65. There's going to be no illegitimate children here. Um, she's a content adventurer. But my son's an evil lackey, so I don't know. Do I jail her? Loses 30 opinion of you. It's an act of tyranny. You know, it's not going to cause any issues. So it would be a shame if this got out. Uh, but I do get a... I learn of something. Okay. What is happening? Um... Hmm. Something that is uncomfortable, however, not risky. So maybe I can just extort her for some money or something. I mean, she's a non-believer as well. Hooks and secrets. At 60% for both. It's because she's brave. And I don't want to have piety issues. It's fine. It's fine. I don't need to blackmail her. She's not causing any horrible problems. There there have been Purohits who have caused real problems. And these are not real problems. Right? I'm planning to disinherit that son anyway. Right? This guy. How much does it cost? 300 prestige and 150 renown, right. So this is why I didn't want to have a son. Another son, I mean. But, um... Ooh, small harbor constructed, great. Um, but, what? 150, yeah. In my other run, I had like two sons, and I could only disinherit one. Alright, minting a new coinage. It is my right and responsibility to determine what coinage is to be used throughout all of Thaton. The choices I make determine how things go. So I can have newly silver minted coin, development growth plus 5%. I can gain 350 prestige. Or I can risk gaining some money. Or risk just losing prestige. I'm not going to risk losing prestige. Though I don't need prestige either, so I think I'll do the development growth 5% because prestige is not an issue because I'm arrogant, which is a good point. Uh, Zaya is content, shy, compassionate. Right, shy, shy can be a big problem. 
the mana increases martial. Great. My other son is temperate, generous, callous, a thrifty clerk. Then again, Zaya only has three stewardship. Right, he was focusing diplomacy 10. You know, Atha is actually not looking too bad stat wise. 9 4, 9 9 3. His stats are actually looking more well rounded than Zaya, who's very heavy on diplomacy. Though he is a charismatic negotiator. I think Zaya is still a better choice. Right? I think Zaya is still a better choice for an heir. Alright, we have an available perk. Organized muster rolls. Yeah, let's go down the architect path. We might not be able to finish it, because... We were more inclined to intrigue. So I'm saving up money to build the big project in um, Batonia, the, the duchy building. The military academy looks good for our conquest. Army maintenance minus 2%. That helps as well, right? Duke Tanat Suede? Great. Yes. Let's get him on our side so we can have a Pagan alliance. Like, if not that, holding taxes plus 10%, no. It's either that or the Royal Reserves for the 0.8 money. I mean, we have a 7 income right now. I think I'll do the Military Academies. Just to have the extra two knights. How much tax are we getting from our vassal? Is there a way to vassal taxes plus 0.7? Wait, hold on. Unraised men at arms is negative 0.2. Is that a plus 2? No, right? Negative 0.2 on expenses does not add to our income. I am assuming, right? It does not. <laughs> okay. Negative expenses is a, is a weird thing. Right? <laughs> uh, it's just expenditure. Okay. It just means there's a buffer before it actually costs anything. Alright. That's, that's good to know. Alright. So, we're at 165. This costs how much? 255 because we do have the 10% discount and the cutting cornerstones. It's good to know. Um, this guy's still alive. Who is he allied to? Oh, he just allied to everyone up here. Oh, he's allied to Pala. Uh, yeah. We're not touching Kanjas anytime soon. I'm planning to ally with Pagan, if at all possible. I'm just going to get him really liking me first. Um, I'm not planning to use Pagan in any current wars in this generation. So no point setting up alliances now, because when I die, the alliances will end. Uh, I have to check. Zaya, do you have any kids? Daughter, daughter. No sons yet. He's gonna have a lot of kids, but... Zaya's 27. If you can have one son, that will be good. One son. How, how old is your wife, Zaya? 27? They're the same age? Okay. Alright, alright. We've got 200 in the bank. I'm saving up for military academies. Okay. Secret letter lost. Tan Bon Wareru. Minus 10 opinion. Someone in your realm has learned of one of Mali's secrets. The problem happened in spite of something. <laughs> There's still a lot of text errors like this. The, the text just cuts off. Okay. Uh, Zaya Tatun gained 20 opinion of you. Okay, that's fine. Okay. If I die right now, 
the Count of Pegu will be the strongest person in the duchy, which is dangerous. Yeah, so I have to disinherit someone. Crusader Kings! Look at this guy's hat. The very heartland of Western Christianity are under siege by infidels. Desperate Christian lords have persuaded His Holiness Pope Marinus to declare his intention of forging righteous alliance to expel the heathens in the name of St. George. Unprecedented Christian aggression, right? Uh, it's a good thing we're nowhere near any of that. They'd have to go through India to get to us. Okay. Uh, it seems like there's no more... Um, assassination attempts going on. So I'm gonna just support schemes on my spy master. Mali died! New pro hit! How are you? Terrible! Oh no, this is gonna be so bad. This is gonna be so bad. Five? Look, we're losing piety again because she's so bad. Covetous Absolver. She's lustful. Oh no. Deceitful, lustful, and an eager reveler. And she's dumb. She herself has minus 164 piety. <laughs> this, this is the bad kind of puro hit. What are our chances of killing her? 95% chance it ke it's kept secret. Should we kill her? Should we kill our Purohit? This is our current best spy master, right? She's so bad. She's so bad. She's gonna cause problems. Eighty-three percent. Ninety-five percent predicted secrecy. That's that's pretty good. This seems very safe to do. Supp um, no support schemes. Yes. Agents join schemes. Wana and Atha. Okay. Like she's horrible. She's an eager reveler, lustful and deceitful, and not even good at her job, right? She's gonna s cause so many problems. We've got Wana and Atha in this. Refuses, can be convinced, okay. It's all auto-join, right? It's not like Crusader Kings 2 where you have to turn that on. Let's hope we can get, get rid of her. Murder. Srey Kyo. Like, that is the worst Puro hit I've ever seen. I've seen Puro hits which have low stats, like 5. But with these uh, personality traits, ooh, that's so bad. And she's not that old either. She's going to be around for like two decades. That is not good. Not safe. Irrigation. An irrigation project. Okay. There are fair stretches of unsettled lands in the county of Thaton. That's a good one. Oof. It'll cost money if I want to design an aqueduct. But I think it's worth it, right? 50? Yeah, I'll just wait a little while before building the military thing. Design an aqueduct. Spend the money. I'm building up a war chest now. In preparation of succession. We're currently still feeling fine. Irrigation running over budget. My appointed architect. Uh, take what you need. No, I don't want to spend another 50. Alright. Faduka, find me a replacement. Spend 75 prestige. We can do that. The project continues. Troubled construction. I always get troubled construction. 
Always, no matter what the percentage is. <laughs> Guaranteed troubled construction. My popular opinion here is low. Ugly. Is it because I tried to falsify claims on them earlier? Do I take the stress or conscript peasants? 40 stress. I can take the stress. The project is completed and the holding of Sitang has motivated workers. Great. So the murder scheme is continuing. Success chance 83%. Secrecy 95%. Another two months till we find out if we can get rid of this horrible person. I mean, she's not even saving me from my loss of piety. It's, it's terrible. Irrigation bringing life. I'm a peasant. Pre I'm pre I'm present to witness the last stones being placed in my new aqueduct in the county of Thaton. My steward holds out a cup and catches the first few drops of flowing water before offering it to me. The ground is still hard and inhospitable, and much work remains. But the water is fresh and will, in time, bring new life to its soil. As the rivulets become a stream, I reflect on all that my work has taught me. Ah, oh, Lap and Lady, you gotta go. Thank you so much for joining. Live long and prosper. Yes! <clears throat> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think I'm picking up this game relatively fast, right? I, I think I'm doing pretty okay on this, right? Can I control if my sons inherit Pogu? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Alright, so we've got a new aqueduct here. Development growth plus 20%. Even decades from now, we will reap the rewards. Now, make me a popular figurehead so all my people love me. Plus 50 on all popular opinion. Not in there. Huh? Duke Tanet Sway. Great. Oh. A meal to die for! <laughs> My agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way. The poison has been inquired. And the duck was gifted to Sreikio alone. It will be rubbed with the poison and the bed of herbs will mask the smell as it is served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. It's just good to see me have fun trying to master the game. Yeah, I, I think I've I've gotten pretty decent in a relatively short amount of time. Bon appetit, Srey Kyo. 83% though, but only 5% chance of the scheme being discovered. Let's let's try it. Bon appetit. She escaped unharmed. Ugh. The poison did not have its intended effect, but merely left the unladen bedridden for a week. Thankfully, it is thought to have been nothing but a common illness. She's none the wiser. You got an attempted murder secret. If at first you don't succeed... What is this, XCOM? Yeah. Alright, it's still 83%, 95% chance. Alright. Not only is she horrible, she's lucky. 83% chance failed. At least it didn't just immediately reveal the 5%. <laughs> the plot has been revealed. I mean, I don't mind taking some issues now. Oh, Kandras. Set up an alliance straight away. The leader of Kandras has... Changed. Oh, now this guy's only just allied to Ramu. Okay. Who are you allied to? Me, my vassal, and who? Oh, this guy. Alright. This guy is no longer allied to this giant Pala Empire, though, so that's good. You guys are all pretty powerful. Um, I'll definitely need to ally with. 
Pagang at some point. Can I arrange a marriage here to get an alliance? How powerful is Pagang? Not that powerful, actually. We're actually pretty powerful. But an extra thousand troops on the battlefield could get us what we need. Perhaps I can start attacking Kandras. Because they're, they're pretty powerful and their ally is pretty powerful. But if I get... None of these guys are allied to Kandras. If I could chip away at Kandras now... Not you, Pagan. Wait, Pagan has no alliances? Am I seeing that right? He's got no allies? Pagan has no alliances. But it is pretty far. I want to do that. Like, if he's got no alliances, we just win if we attack him. And we have an ally. Can I just go... Can I just go attack Pagan? He'll suddenly ally with three other duchies and spawn 4,000 mercs. Yeah. Alright. You can get started on fabricating a claim, even though we're trying to kill you, on Minbu. Sway, Burmese culture. I'll still get him to like me, so even though I fabricate a claim, he won't hate me so much. Uh, check how much money he has. Good point. Not a lot. 242. He could get some, uh, some, but some uh, mercenaries, but not that much. The Burmese are good people. No, I don't want to gain any more stress to risk this. I'm arrogant. If I could take some lands. Oh, who's he fighting? Oh, the, it's just vassals fighting against each other. Okay. That just weakens him. That's great. All right, we're losing 0.4 piety a month. Masonic dealings? I could lose more money here. Okay. Uh, Thaduka earned me their allegiance. And 20% of an unfortunate deal. Yeah, I just have to try and really avoid that unfortunate deal. Earn me their allegiance. Also, while I can, I am going to start the construction of the military academies. To make me even more militaristically powerful. I don't think I need to boost my money much more. This, like, the only reason why I have to save so much money is... But then again, it'll take four years to build this. 0.8 is a lot. I don't know. What does the court think? Military academies or royal reserves? 0.8 gold a month is a good amount. Oh, I don't have the tech for it? Oh, I don't have the tech for it. I just realized. We need the Burr's innovation for this. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize the construct button was crossed out. That's a good point. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's build something else then. Um, walls and towers, garrison, fort level. They always come straight for my capital. That's probably a good one to get here. Build walls and towers. Okay, good. <laughs> Fine. It was good having a war chest anyway. Uh, the chief mason must have enjoyed the company of my steward because he has returned with a deal from the masons that even exceeds... Oh, I got the best deal. 
Yes, cooperative stonemasons in the county of Thaton. Building construction time minus 25%. Oh, I should have waited. There's another 10% discount there. My hook has expired there. Great. Um, if I'm looking at the military of Pagan, they have 300 light footmen, 100 light horsemen, 100 pikemen. So mostly light footmen. But I think what I should do is... It's gonna take three years because she's so garbage. I need to raise like some onagers and stuff. Scheme discovered. My scheme to see poor hit that has been discovered. I rolled the worst. I rolled the worst on this. It was 95% chance that it won't be discovered. And the 87% chance that she would die the first time around. Alright. This ends your scheme. I gain 30... I still want her dead. Stops endorsing me church holdings. She That happens any anyway. I spend 150 prestige on this, which I don't care about. I gain 13 dread, causing your subjects to lose 10 opinion over you. I, I'm a l beloved leader. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, I will show them how far I can go. Can't you just fire her? No. The religious head? I can't fire. Yamin Thunmudari joins as an agent in your scheme. It is now 95% success chance, but it was also 95% success chance to not be discovered. So I don't know. I don't know. So my people lost 10 opinion of me, but I've been giving them so much stuff, they still love me. They're just like, yeah, well, sure, he's plotting to murder the religious head. But he gave us an aqueduct, and you know, he's, he's generally just a really nice guy. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm not endorsed by my poor hit, that's fine. You're gonna die, these powerful vassals expect positions. Atha Thaton, I probably should marry him off with someone. Perhaps, since I'm aiming for Pagan with no current allies, and they seem to be infighting, perhaps I can ally with Kandras with my son? Arranged marriage between Atha, which I have yet to disinherit. I don't think it matters. I'll just pick the oldest one. Who's trusting? Send proposal. Yep, okay. So I'll ally with Kandras. Excellent. So now... Not you. No allies. What is Pagan doing? Okay, I should, I should just build up and get myself like more levies and stuff. Can I build like a barracks? Yeah. Build a barracks. Just build up my army so I'm even more powerful. Inthada. Yeah, I can build a barracks here as well, and I can. Alright, the scheme to murder is one month away. I can increase the size of your men at arms regiments. Ah, yes. Uh, I made that mistake in one of my practice runs. I got like four stacks of 100 archers. You can actually, you see that the gray text is hard to see. It's one out of five. You can stack them on top of each other. Uninvited. 
One of my agents has acquired a King Cobra and arranged for a servant to hide it in Sreikyo's bed before dark. All they need is my go-ahead and she will be as good as dead the moment the snake strikes. Like, it's already been discovered, so what's the point of secrecy? Success chance 95%. It's 95%, 95%. It literally could not be better. I hope you are not afraid of snakes, Sreikyo. Sreikyo is dead by the lethal bite of a king cobra. The snake struck not long after she retired to her chambers. And although guards were called, no one could do a thing to save her. Thankfully, snakes do not talk. So the attack cannot be traced back to me. My little friend has done its work well. New Puro hit. 10. Okay. Good. Insightful thinker. Hail. Okay. Lustful. Uh, compassionate. Arrogant. Not so bad. She's 16 as well. That's really young. So Lustful might cause some issues. And she's young. She could get better. 16, yeah. Sometimes stats increase after 16. 10 stat is already pretty good. All right. All right. Puro hit Solina. Solina, I will not murder you. Lieutenant is not swayed. Yeah, I want him to still like me even after... I make some claims, just in case, just in case. Betrothed can marry. Ooh, what? What is this? Oh, my, my alliance, right. His... Wait, who is this? Who are hit? Duke? Wait, I'm confused. Who is betrothed to who? My Purohit is betrothed to the Duke of Kandras? But can they not marry because she's my Purohit? Okay, Knight became Bla Blade Master, Kian Sitang. Okay, good. Well, that's not my business, so whatever. I'm just gonna ignore it. It's a betrothal from when she was underage, right? It's just. I have to confirm it. I mean. I can't. It, I actually can't confirm it. How do I show this to you? It says here, she belongs to the clergy. They can't get married. <laughs> like, the, the button is grayed out. The alliance is in danger if you don't. Well, like, literally there are no buttons I can press on, on this. This is not an, a marriage that I set up. How's it going? Better than yesterday? Yeah, it's going better than yesterday. There's no alliance? Still have an alliance. Yeah, there's no alliance with that one. My alliance is from my son. Keep an eye on my health. Feeling fine? Okay. Ignore it. Seems like a bug. It should break the betrothal. Yeah, they're just going to be betrothed forever. Does that mean this guy is never going to marry anyone else? It says secondary spouses. Poor hit. Yeah. It says they are married. Yeah, the alliance is from something else. What are you doing? Who are you fighting? Defending against... Who is attacking you? Amdo? You are... Defending against... What? 
Betrothal broken by faith. Okay, there it is. She's devoted her life to Sudata despite the negotiations in the capital planning. It seems that she will never marry Duke Kala Taing Chandra. Alas. Am I still allied? Yeah, I'm still allied. Yeah, that, that wasn't a marriage I set up. Great. Divide attention. Domain limit plus two. Okay. Uh, that's not so important right now because... Well, we're not going to live that much longer. But for now, it should help build our resources. Sway. Getting personal. You know, I don't want to take any particular... He appreciates feats of war. His highest skill is martial. So yeah, I'll try that. I heard he's appreciated feats of war. Still no allies. That's so strange. Uh, he's encouraged my slight dip into more personal topics. Now I just have to keep pretending that I know anything about warfare. I've got 11. That's not so bad. Let us speak more. Gains 10 opinion of you. She has a green inheritable perk. Who? Her? Oh yeah, the hail. Yeah. But she's a puro hit. No one's marrying her. <laughs> then again, she's lustful. I suppose you could seduce her. But I'm I'm not getting any more children right now. But that's a good point. Zaya still only daughters. This is a problem. Um, what are the laws of succession in this? Can, can a woman be the heir to the throne? It's only male preference, right? Woman can rise to the throne? If there are no men. Okay, so it's not a problem. It's not a problem. Okay, it's just male preference. That's good to know. How long until 16 months until I have a claim on Minbu? Yeah, not... Mayor Pontarica, do you still hate me? <laughs> he does still hate me. He's still my mayor, right? Yeah, he just hates me. Uh, small harbor, high tents. What are we building here? Barracks? wooden barracks um, I wanted to build another barracks right 142 he's not swayed it's okay I got 10 points bastion and curtain walls built in Thaton great that's an extra 150 garrison and fort level plus one, and a bit of extra tax. That's good. Elephantry gives me another knight, though. Heavy cavalry damage. No, I think just the straight levies is, is good. Missing one. Okay, there's still time to build up money for the claim. Construct this barracks. It'll take two years. Okay, it's fine. That's just building my military even more. <clears throat> Till death do us. Oh, my wife. Come on. I might not have loved you, yet I feel your passing more acutely than I ever thought possible. You are always there, my constant companion. Did I take you for granted? There are so many things I left unsaid. Oh no, this is gonna put me. Only 10 stress. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not that stressful, not that stressful. It's just the, w the wife dying. Okay. I hope you find peace. How old was she? 62. How old am I? 50. And she was 12 years older. I just really didn't want to have any more children. Now I have a current son which I have to disinherit. But he's just a spare. As we approach 60. Knights are good against levies. Yeah. Okay. Hope you find peace, Helen. A little bit of stress. How am I feeling? I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling fine. Health is still okay. okay. okay that's 
that's fine. Build up our money a bit more. Oh, right, that means we've lost our big stewardship thing. Uh, is there someone old we can marry that will not give us any more children? Age. Scroll down to the bottom. 45. Anyone with good stewardship or good anything? 45, 16. Mahadevi. Lover's Pox. That should keep us from having children, right? Forty-five years old with the lover's pox. <laughs> I know I can get another alliance through this, but I, I can marry four people. I just need someone in this area. Because it helps make money and stuff. Mahadevi. Will accept. Attraction opinion minus 20. They should keep me away. BKB, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. <laughs> so kind of you. Uh, we're gonna marry someone with the lover's pox. Um, just so we we try not to have any more children. And she's 45, right? Chance of children is low. I just need a wife in here to help do work for me. <laughs> Everything said during the stream of Crusader Kings is out of context, okay? This is just the game. This is just the game. Manage my domain, plus eight. Not as good as my old wife. There we go. Let's try to not have any children with her. Meanwhile, we're making up a reason to go kill these people, okay? This crown is beautiful. Thank you. I made it myself. Uh, oh, it's hot here, though. This, this, is, this is my crown. The white paper crown. Uh. <laughs> Alright. We've, we've got... Uh, not a neighbor, but someone nearby who has no allies, as far as I can tell. We've got two massive allies, and we've got a pretty strong military. Um, we are going to be seven months until we have that claim. I don't have a lot of good soldiers. Oh, I'm ill? This is my really good physician, right? He's got 19. Before anything happens, I think I it's time I disinherit my son. He's an evil lackey. I don't even want him to be a vassal, right? He's not even worth it. Disinherit. This will cost us 300 prestige, not worried about that. 150... Renown is expensive, considering our uh, income for it. So I'm gonna disinherit this guy. Zaya is the sole heir. And now... I go back to the doctor. <laughs> uh, a risky treatment may have great outcomes. This is the best doctor I could possibly hope for. 19 learning. It's too late for caution, make me better. And if I die, Zaya's ready to inherit. I gained the trait one-eyed. Okay. Pioho7, thank you so much. We just became a Cyclops. Okay. Botched disease treatment. I'm one-eyed, which means my learning is plus one? <laughs> Guys, I'm smarter now because I lost an eye. Ganda only has one eye. And I'm wounded. Health severe penalty. This is, this is pretty bad. Okay. Okay, we're gonna die soon. This physician will... Prestige minus one a month. You know, I don't care. I'm ready to die. We all knew the risks, you are forgiven. But you're not, you're 56, you're gonna die soon anyway. Things happen. Dying, you are at death's doorstep. If you have an heir, you will continue playing as them. Okay, I'm, yeah, look, 
botched disease treatment. I'm wounded. I have one-eyed. I'm ill. I didn't even get better. I am going to die. Okay. Zaya, you're ready. I'm just double-checking. Succession. When you die, you will play as your player heir, Zaya Thaton, who's ready to become the sole heir. I have managed this pretty carefully. Wooden barracks constructed in Sitaun. Great. More levies. More army. Yes. Okay. Look at my health. Dying. Okay. I got myself killed at an early age of 51. Things happen. Things happen. Okay. Is Navy a thing in CK3? No. As far as I know. I should expend my men at arms. Yeah, it's just I don't have money to do it right now. I know. I should totally have some onagers and stuff. But if Pagan remains without money or allies, we vastly outnumber them. Oh, we swayed him. Great. So it's okay if we're mainly levies. Oh, look. We have two learning. Please control where? Hugu. That's my vassal state. Can I increase control here? What's going on in Pugu? Why are you losing? What decision did he make? My vassal made a decision that lost us 20 control in Pugu. Let's rise that back up. We're certainly taking a long time to die. I'm like just waiting on this war so I can conquer Minbu. And for us to die. Right, I'll lose my alliances. That's a good point. I'll have to check my alliances. I have died, Duke Gunda 51, the one-eyed idiot. <laughs> he was pretty dumb with one learning. Duke Gunda of the Thaton Duchy has finally found peace at 51 years of age. He died from complications of a failed treatment. An old man, he lived a long, fulfilling life. Duke Zaya ascends to the throne, a silent man. Many do not expect him to do well in diplomatic matters. Continue as Duke Zaya. Okay, let's pause the game. We have to pick a lifestyle. Diplomacy, 30% experience. Yeah, I think we go through this. Uh, we can focus on foreign affairs. Diplomacy plus three. Uh, majesty focus. Diplomacy plus one and prestige plus one. What's our current prestige plus? 1.4. Oh, we could do with a lot of prestige. I think we might want to do that. Um, and we could have family focus, diplomacy plus two, fertility plus 20%. No, I don't need... I have two daughters, right? And they can inherit. So right now, I think I'll go diplomacy plus one, prestige plus one a month. Select that. What do I have already? Benevolence, scheme power, plus 30%. Sway, scheme power, plus 30%. Uh, prestige per dread. Prestige per powerful vassal on the council. Prestige per night. Oh, that's why we're getting more than plus one. We're getting quite a bit. Mission epic decision. Level of fame impact. Diplomacy per level of fame. We can become August. Diplomacy, martial, prestige plus one a month. We need to... We don't have any prestige. Oh, and we can only... Oh, hold on. Plus four. Oh, this, this wife's not that great. Okay, let's... That does get us into controlling four out of four holdings. Good, so I don't need to give any to my vassals. Children lack guardians. Um, we have Vate Thaton, who is leaning towards stewardship. So let me pick my steward. Oh, Mahadevi, 16. Oh, this is my... Oh, the previous wife, right. Oh, she's ill. 
Oh, did she catch it from me? Okay, she's not going to be around for much longer. Astute intellectual. Yeah, let's get Faduka up in here. Faduka Wareru, train my daughter, who is a giant. We have a giant daughter. <laughs> oh, we have a giant daughter. Okay. She's pensive and humble. Okay, leaning towards stewardship. Let's send this proposal. Make sure you're focused education on stewardship. She can't be intrigued. She could focus on learning, but no. I want stewardship. Choose focus. Okay, I can designate a guardian here as well. You are leaning towards diplomacy or intrigue. You have hail. That's good. And curious. Diplomacy plus learning. Uh, okay, Hale. So we have a giant daughter and Hale, which is actually really good. Uh, okay, wait, who's the older one? This is the younger one. Okay, so you're learning, leaning towards something else. But you know, I think, uh, what are you currently focusing on? Diplomacy. You know, diplomacy is not, not bad. We could focus you on diplomacy. Who's the highest? Wana? Who has the great pox. Thick, adequate bargainer, arrogant, ambitious, diligent. Eh. Disinherited. Your half-brother. Why does, why does it say half-brother? Is it because he's disinherited? Because he's my brother. Wait, no. No, no, it is half-brother. Zaya was there at the start of the game. I forgot. I forgot. It is half-brother. Okay. Um, can I search by... Some of all skills. Blade master, logistician, brilliant strategist, cynical, vengeful, ambitious. Looking for some good traits to teach. Mud and Jess. Thank you so much. Scholar, great eminence, eager of But this is the guy with the great pox. Ugh. Athletic, open terrain expert, skilled actor, trusting, shy, chaste. Mm. My wife is pregnant. Oh, okay. If it's a son, it will actually solve some problems. Fine. Um, some of all skills is this guy. Your steward. Sadistic. My steward is sadistic? Really? My steward has 19 learning. You know, sure. Let's let's pick that guy. Okay, we're gonna have another child. New Purohit? Oh, she doesn't endorse me. Well, I'm a diplomatic guy. Let's sway our puro hit. We're shy? Ah, oh, I forgot that. Ah, oh, fine. We're diplomatic but shy. This is not gonna be comfortable. Shy is the worst, yeah. Martial guidance. Popular opinion in Pugu. Great. We're shy. Alright, we have a giant daughter and a hail daughter and another child on the way. If it's a son, succession becomes clear. But we are currently only in our 30s, so more children might be on the way. So, to hold things together, we gotta make sure we focus on, like, the, the duchy titles. So the current place I'm taking right now is not so good. All right, it's going to cost 90 to do this. The Count and Duke, yeah, that's fine. I've got them very happy with me. See this done. Okay, we have a claim. I'm in debt, yep. I can declare war on Duke Panet. Do you have any allies? No, right? No allies? Do I have any allies? All right, I'm still allied with that because, yeah, 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 because I'm married, my spouse. Yep, 
They have a good rounded army though. How about my ally? He's got some onagers. Now, I would say that it would be a steamroll. Though I'm not... Also, I don't have enough prestige to do anything, do I? Like, declaring war. I'm in debt right now. I have very low prestige. I got now plus 2.5. But I'm broke and no prestige. Ah, oh, succession is such a tricky thing. By right, my wife has informed me of an obscure law in the county of Dagon that states none but the duke may be its protector. Normally such an archaic law would be dismissed, but it offers me a unique chance to put Count Arendama, my vassal, and current ruler of the county of Dagon, in his place. I get an unpressed claim. You know, I can't control any more domains. Oh, and he hates me. This will actually get him to like me a lot more. I can hunt for prestige, yeah, but I have no money. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna let him keep the title so he likes me, and because I can't hold any more domains anyway. So keep the title. How much would a hunt cost? I need 67. And I think that straight up gets me 150 prestige, right? A son! Okay, no more children or only daughters after this. Okay, wife? Okay, just daughters or no more. <laughs> ah! I can name it after my father, after an ancestor. A good mon name, Thanbo? No. <clears throat> Should we have Ganda? Ah! So this is my new heir and successor. Hopefully... Hopefully this one is just protected and lives well. Uh, do you have any good traits? Did you inherit anything? No, nothing particular. Oh. May you go... Yeah, Ganda. Let's go with Ganda. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. Alright, so now succession is just him. I will inherit everything. The daughters... I guess I can marry them off now for alliances, but I'm not declaring war anytime soon anyway. All right, let's let's settle let's settle Zaya's rule. He's only 31. That gives us time to to sort things out. Okay. So if I wanted to declare war, It'll cost me 125 prestige, which, if I do that now, it would be a fame penalty of 250. And I'll become disgraced. So let us not do that. Oh, so... Ah, he's allied with Takon. Okay, he's got an ally now. Alright, so maybe it's just not a good time to go to war. I think now is a time that we should just settle under our new rule. We died a little bit prematurely because of a botched medical thing, but we managed the succession okay. So it's just going to take us a few years to really get things back on track and all of that. Mm -hmm. Marry the daughters, we could do that, but we're not declaring war soon anyway. Finish increasing control in... Is it Dagon? Yeah. Disastrously rebuilt walls. What is going on in my... Oh, whatever. Anyway, that seems like a good place to bring this first part to a close. We have gotten through the reign of Duke Ganda. We have unified the Duchy of Thaton. And a bit. Uh, we wiped one player off the map. We uh, did pretty well. I think I think we we did go properly and carefully and cleverly and made the right decisions. We did a bit of a murder 
we did a... We, did, we actually did pretty well. We've still got some alliances going. We've got a strong military. Uh, 1,600 total. Right? And yeah, I think, I think it's all going okay. The succession for the next generation is prepared. Ganda the second on the way. I'm going to continue this playthrough. This, this one went as I wanted it to go. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, and I, I probably should keep one daughter with me. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, I like this run. This run's going well. The tiny realm of Thaton is now at least the duchy of Thaton, and soon will be the kingdom of Thaton. Then the Thaton Empire, and then Thaton World Dominate. No, I, I'm not sure if that's even possible from a Thaton start. But I think it's going well. I think it's going well. Some hiccups, but as expected, nothing horribly unfair. And taking this through diplomatic means, that made a lot more sense, right? Yeah, he, he was pretty close to becoming my vassal to begin with. As long as I have some claim to the land, that is actually something that you can do, but... Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. <laughs> uh, that is going to be the end of part one of my Thaton run. And it's, I hope you're enjoying it, I hope you're enjoying it. If you'd like to support the channel, we do have a Humble Bundle referral link to buy Crusader Kings 3. You can just use gamersact.com slash humble, and then you can buy any game off the store or Crusader Kings, and it'll help the, the channel directly. And you can also pick charities to support through Humble Bundle as well. There. That's a good company. Uh, you can also subscribe on Twitch, you can become a YouTube member, or you can support most directly through Patreon, patreon.com slash gamerzak. If you support through any of those, we run fewer ads on YouTube to, to compensate, because direct support is just way better than ads, but ads are a necessary evil right now, just to keep the lights on, you know? I'd rather not, but Crusader Kings 3 is also on Game Pass if you want to do the Game Pass thing. Uh, for this month, I think, but the first month it's out. Ah, uh, also, do join us on social media. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'm active and contactable on all of those at GamerZack. And please do join us over on Discord, discord.gg slash GamerZack for the wonderful Zackalites community. Go say hi. Just drop in to discord.gg slash GamerZack and type hi in our general chat. Just say hi. And let us know how you found us. That would be cool to know. That would be cool to know if you could let us know. That would be nice. Go say hi. Um, and yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, click the buttons next to my head to see so much more stuff. We have many, many videos on YouTube. Thank you all for joining, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye, guys. Bye.